Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to be doing a D'Angelo Russell Minnesota Timberwolves rebuild. So the other day, we actually did a Golden State Warriors rebuild, assuming they were going to tank. And in that video, we did a trade with the Minnesota Timberwolves, which included uh, D'Angelo Russell in exchange for like Robert Covington, Jeff Teague, and a future first round pick. Uh, that was the trade that most of my Twitter followers at Chris Flakes 2K did agree upon. And a lot of you guys wanted to see the uh, Timberwolves part of that, man. So yes, we're doing that for today's video. Now, before we get going on this video, guys, I just heard a rumor that, uh, well, it's not really even a rumor, like Anthony Davis said that, he might consider the Chicago Bulls this NBA offseason. Ten games in the season already starting that pop man uh, on the Los Angeles Lakers. If you guys do want to see an Anthony Davis Chicago Bulls rebuild, get this video to 1,000 likes, and I will do that for my next rebuild, guys. But yeah, man, so looking at this Minnesota Timberwolves team, uh, keep in mind, you know, as far as the date of the season, it's not the real date right now because D'Lo would not be able to get traded until, like, you know, midway through december just due to like trade restrictions and things like that man so that's why we have it like that um according to 2k20 not the most like reliable source out there they have the Timberwolves with a record of 16 and 9 so you know when you bring somebody like d on the team all of a sudden um at first it might have been like okay let's get d so we can grow with this team and you know maybe within the next like three or four seasons maybe a little bit before that uh we can really make some noise in the western conference but with 16 and 9 the way that Cat's been playing early on this season, despite the, susp the uh, suspension, the way Andrew Wiggins has been playing this season, you had D'Lo, and all of a sudden, man, like 16-9, you might be fighting for, like, a top four or five seed in the Western Conference with that, man. So, yeah, definitely going to be very interesting with that. Um, looking at the rotation of the team, so you got D'Lo, who at this point, they have him averaging 29 points and 8 assists. I don't know if he'll quite do that unless he gets a lot of playing time on the Warriors, uh, but at the same time, they do plan on trading him. And tanking the season, you might see a minutes restriction just because they don't really want, you know, D'Lo to get injured. But at the same time, you might want to, like, showcase him a little bit out there, too, just to increase his trade value. So, yeah, he was averaging about 30 points. Andrew Wiggins, they have averaging, 20, uh, I'm sorry, 19 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. So, yeah, uh, definitely been pretty impressed with him uh, this season. Like, I don't know if he's still worth that $128 million contract. He still has a lot more to prove before, you know, I give him that benefit of the doubt. But regardless, man, like, you know, he's playing better this year, so you got to give him props for that. And the guy, Carl Anthony Towns, uh, they have him averaging kind of disrespectful from 2K standpoint. 22 points, 13 rebounds per game. I think he's averaging quite a bit more than that. But then again, that's a very uh, a small sample size because of the suspension after getting into a bit of a scruffle with Joel Embiid. So yeah, man. Thing is, though, is like this season, you know, if we make the playoffs and get a good seed out there, that's great. But, you know, you got Jerry Culver, still a rookie. So I do think the young blood is a few years away. They got like Noah Vonley at the power forward spot. At least that's where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be starting that power forward. Um, on this team, it's like the rest of the bench rotation definitely leaves like a lot to be desired. So yeah, we're just going to focus on this season, getting the chemistry going, get our rotation set, and then come the NBA offseason is when we are going to really focus on, you know, bringing in maybe some veteran pieces and some other guys that can really help bolster up this bench a bit. Because I will say, for the most part, um, outside of maybe the power forward position, I think our starting five is pretty much set. Like Jerry Culver, if he doesn't go the direction I want him to, then maybe eventually he will be like a six man on the bench, but he'll probably end up being a starter for this entire video, guys. And yes, so I do want to toss a few players into the G League. Um, Josh Okaje, did I say that right finally? Okaje, I think I did, man. Maybe not. Uh, just because like he's not getting like a ton of minutes for me right now in this uh, particular season, and I really think he could really at least get to be like a 76 overall, so that's one way to really improve our bench. And also Nas Reed, who I'm actually a big fan of. Um, so I actually got to sign a free agent to do so, which actually might not be a bad idea anyway. So yeah, let's go for like, I would take Jamal Crawford, man. If we can afford him, yes, we can. There we go. Let's get Jamal Crawford on the team. Uh, just bring you like that veteran scoring presence. It'll be great. Just for one season, you know, see what he can do for us and call it good from there. And now I can put Nas Reed into the G League. Okay. So the uh, team is pretty much good to go. Uh, I'm not really going to change too much with the rotation. I think I might actually just give like... Maybe I'll give uh, Wiggins a few more minutes. Get him at, like, what, like 35? 34, 34, and then Jarrett at about 31. And Cat playing a lot. Same with D'Lo, because we're really making that playoff push. But, no, the team is good to go. We have a three-star balance system with Ryan Saunders as the coach. All right, guys. This first season, not too much going on, man. We just got to see how things kind of play out and kind of gauge the situation from there. So, let's go ahead and simulate the rest of this NBA season and uh, see if the Timberwolves team could get a good seating in the playoffs. Okay, so we got the Timberwolves with 52 wins on the season. That would be such a W for this franchise, man. 
uh, especially, you know, inserting a new starting all-star point guard into your team midway through the NBA season. Like, just like, I don't know, like, like, like so many factors goes into that. Um, it just really shows the promise of this team going forward, man. Really what they could do this year in the playoffs uh, if it were to work out this nicely. So we got All-NBA first, All-NBA second, All-NBA third looking like that. Uh, Colorado Anthony Towns didn't make the All-NBA third team. So I'm going to assume D'Lo probably did not. Uh, we also got Jerry Culver as the All-Rookie first. I'm going to assume that D'Lo probably did not average that 30 points per game once he got on this team. But we are the fourth seed in the uh, Western Conference. Let's go to these players' stats real quick. And here we go, man. D'Lo, 26 points, 9 assists. So he pretty much continued to play the dominant basketball. Uh, Ket at 22 and 14 with 4 assists. Not bad, man. You know, I, I don't mind him like, taking like a little bit of a step back scoring-wise and allowing D'Lo to be the man. Uh, what I really don't like, though, is that he's shooting 15 times a game, and so is Wiggins. Like, that kind of needs to maybe go down to, um, you know, Cat shooting an about, about four more times, and Wiggins going down to about 10 shots, 11 shots per game. That's just my opinion on that throw, man. But yeah, Jerry Culver, 14 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Yeah, he's definitely going to be starting. Uh, then uh, Jamal Crawford was a huge big-time asset to this team. Josh now a 74 overall. Hopefully, he's 75, 76 by the time the actual season starts next year. Then we got... Uh, yeah, Nas Reed is a 73 overall, so he's probably still a little ways away. But first round, we do have the San Antonio Spurs. Simulate round here, see how this goes. Come on, man. Let's get to that set. Let's at least get, like, at least make it a competitive series. Like, you don't have to win it. Just be competitive. Well, damn, they're playing good, man. 4-1. Or you can just win it, you know, four games to one. That's good, too. All right. Very nice. So we got Wiggins, 20 points, 20 for Shabazz. 16 for Jarrett. And, I mean, really, everybody just did their part in this game, man. We got all these guys in double digits, so that's pretty cool to see. All right, next up, Lakers. See, I would not expect to beat the Lakers, but who knows, man? Who knows? It's Minnesota what we can do. We down 2-0, down 3-0. Okay, we got swept. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Not angry about that one bit. Uh, this team definitely performed a lot better than I thought they would. So, yeah, now we go into the offseason just kind of knowing that and uh, going from there, man. I don't, I don't even know, like, what moves to even make, though. I think, really, I want to just, like, work on the bench and uh, probably look for a better... Like, a really good, like, 3 and D power forward, I think, would be ideal. Uh, let's go to staff signing real quick here. And uh, Ryan Saunders. Uh, yeah, so we actually have an opportunity to get ourselves a better coach if we want to. I ain't taking Popovich from the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, what about Nate McMillan? He's available. Grit and grind type of guy. Pace and space of Luke Walton. Defense is trash, though. Um, all right, all right. We got a lot of assistant coaches out there. We got perimeter centric with Logan Schmidt. We got my dude, uh, Duncan Darvin Ham. I actually like him a lot, guys. You know what? Just because I like Darvin Ham. I'm going to take him. Here we go. All right. NBA draft. I don't know their draft situation. Uh, it would Because it would not be like this pick going to the Warriors. So I think we should just have like our normal pick. And uh, yeah, we have the 26th pick in the draft. Should be able to get somebody pretty decent right here. Let's go to best available. So we got Tyrese ha Halliburton. I have no idea who that is. Jeremiah Robinson, Jaden McDaniels. All right, so we got some decent dudes up in here. We got this Usman Garuba, paint defender. Goes overseas for two years. Uh, we got Amar Sia, slashing four. Sounds interesting. Seven four wingspan. Only 18. Could be a nice little project for this team. And then you got Aaron Wiggins. I have no idea if he's related to Andrew Wiggins. You know what? Just just because he might be. And that'd be kind of interesting. Let's get Aaron Wiggins on this team. I have no idea though, Maze. He's 6'6". I don't know. He might actually be related. Or just have the same last name, Wiggins. Although I don't think it's a very common name. So we got him signed up 70 overall. We also get Cassius Winston. He's from, yes, Michigan State. That's right. Uh, we'll get both these guys on the squad. Team player options. Josh is now a 76 overall. Kata Bates' job, which I'm pretty sure Timberwolf fans actually really like a lot. Um, get him back on the squad also. Qualifying offers. Jordan Bell. I let him walk away. Kalen Martin. Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Okay, we just lost everybody. Okay, Kalen, Jordan, and Jordan. All those guys can leave. Don't care too much about them. I'll save the roster spots. Moratorium period. So, do we owe a contract to anybody? Uh, Trevon Graham is the only one. Now, I don't think we have a ton of cap space, though. So... Power forwards. I mean, you got Todd Gibson. He's on this team before. Uh, Davis Burtons. He definitely gives you the uh, the offense. The defense, I'm a little worried about. And Jeff Green getting a bit older. Markeith Morris would be interesting. Rondi Hollis gives you the athleticism and the defense, not so much that three-point shooting. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with and get, like, Davis Burtons just because 
I could always make a trade and try to get like a better power forward. But if anything, this guy would just be nice to have off the bench anyway. So we'll definitely get him on the squad. And uh, yeah, point guards. I think Shabazz, hopefully, I think he's got a multi-year contract. So we should still have him for a backup. And uh, yeah, man. So what other players we've got available? We got Joakim Noah, Michael Beasley. Michael Beasley, I believe, actually had some really nice years or like a nice year. He's been on so many teams, man. Uh, on Minnesota, yeah, he had a 20 point per game season pretty much, man. So I'm going to bring him on the team and see if we can get something extra crispy going there. Got him signed up for the minimum. Uh, Noah Vonley, we don't really need him because I do think I'm going to end up making a trade. Uh, so yeah, and anybody else I really want to grab at this last second? Maybe like a Tory Craig. Okay, we can like just not. Oh, okay, we're going to give him the minimum. Come on, man. Come on, Tory. There we go. You're the real MVP. All right, I'm going to go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular seasons. Definitely going to check out some trades and uh, see what more we can do with this team. Okay, so this is the team so far this season, man. We got D'Lo, uh, Jarrett, Wiggins, Burtons, and Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, bench unit, once again, it's like, it's it's fine. It's fine. I'm definitely happy that Nas Reed is now a 76 overall. It's pretty cool. Uh, but we got a few trade pieces out there we can use, man. So let's go to Trade Finder. I'm going to do one for... Because uh, I think Nasri could probably be like backup center. I would be okay with that. So let's go with Dang, Jake Lehman, in a future first round pick. See if that can get us like a 79, 80 overall power forward. Here we got Jaleel Oak for Brooke Lopez. Not a bad trade, man. That's not a bad trade for a little depth. Although I don't want to need like two like slow footed centers like that. Uh, ooh, Thaddeus Young. Damn, Thaddeus would actually be a great fit alongside Carl Anthony Towns. Plus, I didn't see who was the other player that was on there. I did not see who it was. Uh, yeah, let me go to his uh, to his attributes real quick. What am I looking at, man? Okay, here we go. Attributes. Or don't know. Let's go. Yeah, let's go with grades. Grades. B plus three point shooting. Got that going. Perimeter defense B minus above the position average. Uh, post defense B plus. And rebounding is like it's the position average at least. And uh, yeah, we also get Tristan Thompson for the bench unit, who would just that would be our backup center, man. Uh, then we could continue to run Nasri at the power forward spot. Uh, let's see what other trades we got here, though, man. Just to kind of see. Sergi Baca could put him back at the uh, power forward spot. And just as Winslow off the bench would be great. Wow, a lot of really good trade offers here, man. Al freaking Munu. If he was like 7 9 over, I'll probably go with him. Joe Harris, Taurine Prince. Not bad either. I literally like all these trades. TJ Warren, Jeremy Lamb. That's a great one, too. Wow, so these are all great trades. I think I like Thaddeus, though. I like the idea of getting Thompson on the team. Let's go with this one, guys. This one just sounds good. Plus, Thompson in real life, I'm just going to say, man, he's averaging like 20 and 12. So, you know, you got that going for you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put... Yeah, because now we got Burton, so we don't really even need that much now. So, it might be a good opportunity to trade for like a backup point guard, I would probably say. Uh, Beasley has small 40. I'm going to do that just real quick. Yeah, so let's go back to Trade Finder. And, yo, I thought we still had... What's his name? I guess not. I thought we still had uh, Shabazz. That's all good. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do a trade of Burton's. I just don't need him now. And Tory Craig. No, no, no. We're going to keep we're gonna keep Tory. Uh, Jordan Bell looks like he accepted his qualifying offer and a second round pick. Just looking for like a decent backup point guard. That's all I want, man. I don't need nothing else too crazy. Jordan Clarkson, I mean, I know we can run it. Roberson's great, but not a point guard. Dante Exum, 76 overall. I might just be good with that. Like I said, just got to find one. We got, oh, ooh. Yeah. You know, I got to get my boy, Luke Kennard. And, I, and we get Shabazz back. Man, we get Shabazz back. So, it's perfect. All right, this team is just really working out. Now, OKJ kind of. Well, okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. Tory Craig's right there. Okay, now we'll do this. Because OKJ, how, how tall is he? He's like a defensive dude. 6'4". Uh, Luke Kennard, 6'5". We'll put him at small four. Goes to 77 overall. Perfect. Okay, man. Okay, we got the team. D'Lo, Culver, Wiggins, Thaddeus, Cat. And then we got Thompson, Josh, Luke, Shabazz, and Nas. 10-man rotation. 10 up, 10 down. Looking fantastic. Let me get a few more minutes here out to... Uh, yeah, we got a deal at like 36. Cat okay, like 37. Wiggins at about 30, I'll say. 31. And uh, I can see Culver's um, numbers going down a little bit. Just because we, we do have some pretty good depth there at the uh, shooting guard spot. And uh, Thaddeus about 28. Who's our backup power forward again? Nah, it's okay, okay. Yeah, that should be fine, man. Plus, I feel like Thompson and Cat could possibly play on the floor together just because they can both... I know Cat can shoot. I don't know Thompson can shoot now. Now I got an F3 point shot. I thought we were knocking down some threes. Maybe that was like one time in a preseason game. I don't know, man. But yes, 
good to go system proficiency we've got three and a half star balance system feeling good about the team here guys i really i, I feel like it's a better team last season for sure so only time will tell uh let's go ahead and simulate the second season see how this d-lo cat team can do okay so 59 wins guys one more we'll be a 60 win team as you can see though the uh, last four games of the season um not all that great like we lost a whole bunch of really close ones lost by one to the rockets four to the okc thunder four to the golden state warriors and six points to the pelicans so you know man you definitely want that momentum going into the playoffs but you know can't control everything simulate through date against the portland trailblazers wow okay like five straight bitch ass health bro i had coach chris ain't happy about that one like duncan darvin ham gonna be gone duncan darvin gone man james wiseman rookie of the year demarcus Cousins, six man Kawhi defensive player mobile most improved never actually seen that in this game and you can stay around i guess man but still you better have some playoff success for us or it's just not worth it uh here's the all nba teams cat making the all nba third yet again and we are the first seed in the Western Conference. Let's go to the player stats on the season. See how our new guys there are old guys. So, uh, Cat, this time the leading score at 25 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks per game. That's kind of what I was expect expecting more of last season. Uh, D-Low at 24 and 8. So, like, his score went down a little bit, but, you know, not, like, too much where it's concerned. Um, Jerry Culver outplayed Andrew Wiggins on every front of the basketball game, bro. Better scoring, better rebounding, better playmaking better defense and yeah, i mean the efficiency not that big of a difference you know three point shooting wise uh pretty similar to uh josh at nine points two rebounds thaddeus at 9.6 rebounds two assists one steal um as our starting power forward i'll keep my hand to play like that many minutes i was playing like 28 a game something like that uh shabazz did fine luke Kennard seven and three Nas at six and three and then thompson at about eight rebounds per game so i'm really doing anything different next season it might be to like consolidate the uh i think that's the right word it, that's a fancy word man consolidate right is, is, did that mean to like reduce reduce the lineup and uh that might involve well, i guess thompson's he on a one-year deal we might just have like some money freed up yeah we might just have money freed up which would be fine man so yeah all right uh first round we have the memphis grizzlies simulate around here guys see how this goes and uh yeah y'all can take on john moran do it baby okay we have three zero four games zero that's a sweep so yes, we lost some games. We got all of our losses out of us uh, at the last few games of the season. That's all that was. Looks like we got Demar Derozan on the Grizzlies now. We got D'Lo at 38 and 13. Damn man, and uh, Cat at 13 and 13. Nas at uh, 15. I got I got faith in this man right here, guys. I think he's gonna be a good player. So yeah. All right, Houston Rockets could be a difficult see. Ooh, one one. Okay, okay, okay. Two. I don't like that. Uh, I think I'm gonna tighten up our rotation a little bit. I'm going to tighten things up a little bit, guys. So, Nas Reed actually on fire. You know what? I'm going to make a bold choice. I'm going to switch these guys around. I'm going to put Nas Reed in the starting lineup. I feel like he's a really good passer. Like, Thad's still going to get some nice minutes out there. Well, I mean, 18 minutes a game. Nice enough. Yeah, this just seems like a good move, man. Nas on fire, bro. I, I like his game a lot. So, we'll see what happens. And we got two vets coming off the bench. Could you what about that? Okay, that should be good. I don't like being down 2-1, man. Yeah, let's see how this last game actually went. I'm kind of curious. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're going to play it. Nope, nope. Okay. Okay, well, we back. Okay. View box score. Last game, D-Lo 27. Thaddeus at 8 points. Nice at 7. So, both these guys. I did whatever. Simulate. Simulate round. Come on. Oh, okay, it's not looking good. Okay. Yeah, well, I guess I did all that for nothing, right, man? I did that all shit for nothing. Whatever, man, whatever. Okay, I got one more season in me, though. It's all good. I got one. You know, we're still an extremely young team. So now you get to the point, though, where it's like, yo, Wiggins, you're getting paid a lot of money, man. And we're in the 2021 NBA offseason. So, like, maybe I should trade you for, like, a draft pick or something. And then sign Giannis. Just something to think of. Yo, is D Book available? Oh man, if Devin Booker's available. That would be something. That'd be a that'd be a that'd be a smooth move right there. But oh man. Okay, here we go. Let's get to right here. I'm gonna see if I can trade Wiggins for a draft pick. We could. Damn, thirty-two million dollars a season. Damn, man. Like I will legit take a draft pick, or even this right here ain't bad. Like five. Like let's uh, saves us so much money just with that. Here we get uh, Zubach and a 2025 first round pick. Sound white side, don't want him. I want like a really small contract. Bismack, well, I mean, I'd rather have the other dude. Well, 
I mean, it's 78 overall. Not that big a deal. Joe Harris too much. Oh, there we go. That saves a lot of money right there. But then you don't really get the rotational play. Oh, Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson. See, I like that. But we got a Culver on the team. So, like, oh, man. I'm I'm in such a dilemma right now. Like, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to do this trade right here. And that's just to get rid of Wiggins' contract. And maybe try to free up some money here, guys. So, we're going to go straight to team player options. We're going to try to free up some money here, man. We should... I mean, because, like, D'Lo and Cat are getting paid a lot. But uh, I think we should be able to get some other good pl players. So, we're going to let Thaddeus Young probably walk. We're going to... Well, decline his team option. Maybe sign him for a cheaper contract. Josh on a good contract. Jared on a good contract. Nas on a good contract. Great contract, actually. Jalen, let him walk. Winston, not really using him at all. Okay. Okay, this is getting absolutely insane, man. All right. We, we should have some money to work with, hopefully. A little bit, at least. Okay, so we, we, we can roughly sign a guy to a max contract. Uh, we might actually have enough where we can trade somebody else away. Like Shabazz, $3 million. Yeah, we might be able to trade away like Shabazz and those other two guys for uh, for draft picks. There we go. There we go. We'll do that one right there. we pretty much going to be able to throw out another max contract, guys. And still have some pretty solid rotational players after all this. This is getting insane. Insane. Okay, let's trade this guy next. Hopefully for a draft pick. Shake, I actually kind of want to keep. Like, okay, there we go. Some more draft picks. There we go. Hawks just giving them up, baby. I'm not, I don't plan to use those for this video, so it's fine. Um, but, yeah, so looking for a small forward, right? And we got so many tasty options, man. Ka oh, we can afford Kawhi. Man, if he does, man, imagine, imagine, imagine. Okay, we got, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Paul George. We can, like, just not afford Paul George. He's asking for a bit more, which I don't know why. Because he's not as good as Kawhi is. Tatum's restricted, so I'm going to offer him a lot, but, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, looks like Giannis must have signed elsewhere. Um, Laurie Markkinen wouldn't be too bad. Donovan Mitchell restricted. Oladipo would be a nice fit on this team. Like, I know we could have had Klay Thompson, but, you know, I'm still going to throw Oladipo a contract here, man. I'll throw him like that right there, see what's offered up. Okay, so let's check it. Kawhi accepted other offer. So we can get Victor Oladipo, 88 overall. That's not bad. Jason Tatum got matched by the Celtics. Okay, Kawhi to the back to the Clippers. All right, all right. So we're still in moratorium period. So we still got some things we can do out here. Uh, just to like ensure that's what we actually want to do. And part of me is like, okay, do I want to trade? I don't, I don't really have got enough like free up. Like if I trade a Culver, I could try to get Paul George. But then it's like, I really don't want to do that, man. Because Culver's uh, pretty nice for this team. So, um, but that's the thing. It's like now with Culver and Oladipo... You know, you kind of got, like, a little bit of a dilemma right there. So, Kuzma, we could, he's restricted also. Damn, all these guys are restricted, guys. Okay, I'm going to throw Rudy Gay. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. Damn, man. Yeah, I'm going to throw him that. Okay, he just declines. He's like, screw you, Crispy. I want nothing to do with you ever again. Any other shooting guards available? Um, And we could also... Oh, man. I guess maybe Jer Jared Culver has small forward I could try. Okay, let's get a moratorium period. Sorry, guys, I'm really getting into this rebuild here, man. I'm really getting into this one. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, like, make it look as perfect as possible. Old Depot's going to be nice for us regardless. That's all I know. That's all I know. Okay. Thaddeus Young's still available. Definitely will bring him back, assuming he wants to uh, be back on our team. There we go. We got him. Who else? Michael B. Damn, 70. How are you 80 overall, man? I'm going to take you if you're an 80 overall, uh, Beasley. Player progression in this game's insane, man. Absolutely insane. Okay, give me, uh... Give me Quinn Cook for a little shooting off the bench. Tyreek Evans. Nope, drugs are bad. Bitch ass Monroe. Sure, why not? Sure, why not, man? I, I think bitch ass Monroe. It's fine. All right. I think we're good to go. I'm going to have to really get this lineup looking crispy. Like I said, Oladipo. I'm getting them mainly for the name, not the position. We'll see. Let's go ahead, guys. Simulate two at the beginning of the regular season. Okay, guys. So here is the team going into the final season of this rebuild. We got D'Lo at point guard. Victor Odipo at shooting guard. Uh, Jared Culver, I didn't know this. He's 6'7". Yeah, we put him at small forward. Completely fine with that. Actually went up to an 84 overall. He was an 83. We got Thaddeus going to continue to be the starting power forward. We got Cat at the center spot. Bench, we got Josh. We got Nas, who's also going to be playing a little backup center for us, too. Michael Beasley, who can play multiple positions. Quinn Cook. And uh, you got like Shake Milton, Greg Monroe. Actually, I might do this. Let me uh, let me go to the trade finder real quick here. 
Let me see if for like Shake and Monroe, if I can get like a better backup center. Just a guy I can get like, you know, 12 minutes a game to. Maybe like a 78 overall, somebody like that, man. Uh, if available, if not, it's not that big a deal. Like I said, Nas can... Ooh, yo, PJ Washington's a beast. But I don't want to take... I don't want to take him from their team, man. I don't want to do that. Okay. I did look away for like a split second. I might have passed somebody. You know what? We good. We good. The team's good. We won like 60 games last season, man. And we got Oladipo now. This right here is going to be interesting as hell, man. Like, you got the offense and you got the defense. So, let's go ahead. Simulate this third and final season. Okay, so a record of 55 and 26. A few games worse than last season, but not like enough to be concerned about it. I think we're, what are we, like 59 wins last year? Uh, one more game against the Nets, finished with a L on the season. So once again, man, finishing our season bad like that. Uh, Jokic, MVP, Bobol, Rookie of the Year, JP Makura, six man AD as defensive player, Cam Reddish, most improved, and Taylor Jenkins, Coach of the Year. Uh, all NBA first, All NBA second. Cat finally making that away from that All NBA third. And all NBA third team looking like that. There's everything else for you guys to see. All right. So we are the second seed to the Houston Rockets in the uh, Western Conference. Player stats on the season. See how Old Depot did. So Cat at 25 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists. D'Lo at 24 and 9. Uh, Old Depot at 17, 5 and 5. Of course, also playing great defense. And then Jerry Culver at the small forward spot. Uh, compared his numbers to last year. Looks like they were... I mean, they were like just as good like he like that's like a kind of a bad thing is that he didn't really get better but at the same time uh well no because even like because wiggins was on the team last year man so yeah it's kind of disappointing actually field goal percentage down three point shot down um it is what it is though you know and then here's the rest of the team overall not bad i still think we can win this championship uh first round we got the okay see thunder simulate round here see how this goes come on man you can beat out okay so we got this we got this two zero Okay, 2-1. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Come on, guys. Get the 3-2. Okay, don't blow the freaking blade, blade, man. Come on, man. All right. Okay, 2K, you've done it. You've bro you, you, you have broken me inside. I put so much heart and soul into this team. And we got, you, we, we let the, the freaking Derek, Derek favors, man. Bro, if you are an actual favor, you would be like... I don't know. What's a favor nobody likes? A flavor nobody likes. It doesn't make sense, man. I said flavors. Your last name's favors. But I call you flavors. I don't know why. Chris Paul, 7 to 11, still playing like a great point guard. Although at this point, he's probably 69 years old. Clark. Might as well be Clark Kent playing like Superman. Cutting Ham. Well, we had Darvin Ham as our coach. I don't know, man. Oh, not for 20 deep. What are you doing, man? Sending bitch ass back to the Pacers. My God, you're going to be doing that in D low. Four for nine. Like, it's time to put that. Oh, wow. We just did so bad. No really other way around it. Now, I will say that it's not always about winning a championship. It's about putting your team in the right situation. And I do think regardless, our team still turned out really well, man. I mean, you know, we had D'Lo. We had Jarrett. We had Depot. Uh, Depot and D'Lo. It's kind of cool sound actually. We had Cat. And LaMelo Ball just won finals MVP, man. Somewhere LeVar Ball just became the happiest guy alive. All right. Well, that is the end of the video. Regardless, I hope you all did enjoy it. Um, you know, despite how this rebuild went, I really do think that D'Lo to the Timberwolves would be like the perfect fit. And I'm hoping it happens, man. I'm really hoping it happens. I just feel like his talents would be better utilized on that team than the Golden State Warriors. All the Warrior fans probably disagree with me on that. But regardless, man, hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember, guys, 1,000 likes for an Anthony Davis Chicago Bulls rebuild.